in the name of jesus let me speak over someone whatever has come so close to you just left for your hand to reach and yet it was manipulated by witchcraft i call upon the god of my covenant your hand will hold it this night 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 in the name of jesus christ please sit down hear me the easiest way for God to raise men is to connect them. Oh dear, I wish I had time. This is not, this is a miracle service. Listen, you need to hear what I will tell you. Not everybody, hear me, not everybody will begin the journey of their prosperity by themselves. There are others, your prosperity is already in the prosperity of others. You will prosper by partnership, not pioneering. to the one fearfully and wonderfully created by God. I welcome you to Postpit Media. Postpit Media is a channel that shares Nigerian and international men of God's sermons. Dear listener, is this your first time of joining this channel? If it is, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Many believers desire divine lifting. Many believers desire divine miracle. But many believers do not know this. In this video we are about to watch, I put this one same man. Talk on certain things believers need to know. If you have desired anything good in life, be it divine miracle, divine lifting, divine healing, or anything that is divine, you have to know this. You know, the scripture says the promotion comes not from the north or not from the east, but promotion comes from God. But promotion comes from God truly, but you have to know a lot of things for some, some certain things to come to pass. In this video, you're about to watch Apostle Shaseman talk much on this and enlighten a lot of believers that are in this situation. The video is here. I will not talk too much. I want you to learn from this video. Kindly watch the end. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, let me speak over someone. Whatever has come so close to you, just left for your hand to reach, and yet it was manipulated by witchcraft. I call upon the God of my covenant. Your hand will hold it this night. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. Hear me. The easiest way for God to raise men is to connect them. Oh dear, I wish I had time. This is not, this is a miracle service. Listen, you need to hear what I will tell you. Not everybody, hear me. Not everybody will begin the journey of their prosperity by themselves. There are others, your prosperity is already in the prosperity of others. You will prosper by partnership, not pioneering. If you don't understand this, you will be poor for the rest of your life. It is not laziness. There are people God has placed a mantle on. The prosperity God has given them is beyond what they need for their own destiny. Lord, waiting to hear God by yourself will keep you poor. You need to find Abraham quickly. If you are waiting to say, God told Abraham, he must speak to me. You will grow old and you will never rise. If you are Abraham, don't wait for Lot. Hear God. But if you are Lot, you will hear God through Abraham and connect to Abraham to rise. This is a mystery. Not everybody excels by pioneering. Many will excel through their connection. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. In Genesis 13, you put Lot here, you put Abraham here. You will not know who God called and who was blessed. That is the power of connection. When you put two candles here, watch this, and you light a match, you put it on this candle, and you use this candle to light this one, and you keep two of them. Do you know that you will not even know which one lit which? This is a mystery that many arrogant people do not understand. In the name of trying to find God for themselves, finding the key to prosper for themselves, you will get into trouble and time will be going. There are people God has raised already. Discern the grace upon their life and stop wasting your destiny. Tap with understanding and accelerate in destiny. To you. Is someone listening? Tonight, 
we have come with several desires your desires represent outcomes that you want to see in your life but i am telling you that those desires are connected to several mysteries and that in addition to receiving prayer and all of these things you must have a determination as a believer to patiently learn the mysteries that must be engaged that are responsible for the various outcomes that you need to actualize life and to actualize destiny longevity is controlled by a mystery sentiments is not one of the mystery you must know what does it take to live long I think the thing just happens those who die die those who live live as painful as it is I submit to you by the integrity of scripture it is not true let God be true and all men liars but if you do not know the mystery and you are guessing making blind bold face I know I will not die you may be surprised how about lifting what takes a man from your lowly estate because there are many of us here all the overflows outside following online you are wondering Lord what does it take to lift me from where I am what does it take to lift me oh God and you find out that the lifting lifting itself has a mystery the mystery of lifting is that you must know the Lord as Ebenezer if you just know him as deliverer it will not lift you it will deliver you but you must know the, have the revelation of him as Ebenezer that stone that helps men and then you must understand the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers if you do not understand the ministry of destiny helpers you will only see lifting in your dreams and visions you may never enter the reality of it because I have taught you that who hates you does not matter but in this world of men who likes you matters hallelujah even if you are Jesus Christ and you are hanging on the cross it will take Herod giving Joseph of Arimathea permission to bring that body down so there are many people who do not understand these things believers are you learning something tonight so that you don't just say I know God will do it you hear what believers say I know no my God is too faithful you are right but you are wrong you are right potentially but you are wrong because your disappointment will keep recycling as your ignorance permits it but the day you get tired and say this miracle service is the moment a change of story always comes with the prophetic deliverance from all kinds of yokes of shame the prophetic and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet where he preserved healing listen there are few people in the Bible who receive healing by themselves go and read the Bible most times over 95 percent of healing it was a man of God Jesus himself or a vessel bringing a word of faith and then the potential recipient believing the word from God and receiving there are few people in the Bible who were healed by themselves so that the moment you just walk in ignorance you can walk in health by yourself and it's true that you can speak the word of God because the word of God is living and active are we together but God's standard procedure is to have men he will send who will speak a word of healing and you believe it and that sickness will leave and you do not believe it you see the same way you can stay in a room and receive Jesus by yourself but most of the salvation of experience of people came through a preacher that God used whether the preacher spoke as a person, whether some tape or CD somewhere, whether some track somewhere, it took someone outside of yourself to make you aware. Even the utopian eunuch needed help to a point that the Holy Ghost had to move Peter to go and help that man. Is someone learning now? I'm saying this because in the next few minutes, already people have received their miracles but as we begin to pray and see the God that heals and the God that changes stories I want you to understand that this is how the system of God works you believe in God but you also believe in the servant that he has sent believers
The lot of truth has been spoken so far by Apostle Joshua Seman. These are the certain things we need to know if truly we want to change our level. If truly we are believing God for divine miracle or divine upliftment. I know you are blessed already. Do not forget to like and comment in the comment section. See you in the next content.